Hello, in this tutorial on C++ I want to introduce you to the templates. Actually in this tutorial I only want to introduce you to the function templates and in the next tutorial I want to introduce you to the class templates. Okay, there is a slight difference between the two. Alright, let's start with creating a function, call it copy array and it waits for an integer pointer so actually it will be an array uh, destination a const a const integer pointer source and an integer n which will be how many elements does it contain okay and make a loop for e i less than n i plus plus and make the destination i equals to the source i. Simple enough. Okay, and that's it. We pretty much copy the source array to the destination array with this two line. Okay, now uh, create actually two arrays. So in array, uh, so this will be contain ten element and another array, this will be array 2 and this contain 10 element as well ok and now just uh, uh, put elements into the array so i less than 10, i plus plus and just array i equal to uh, i times 2 just why not right? Now just uh, call the copy array function. The first parameter will be uh, where do we want to copy? This will be the array two, uh, where so array and ten element. Simple enough. Now just write out the array two ch to uh, make sure that it work well. So array uh, two i and write it out mm, make a new line after it all right that's it if everything is fine it should compile all right run it and as you can see it's right out uh, both the 10 elements so yeah okay that was it pretty simple right now but I changed my mind I want the char array okay oh frack it I have to rewrite this to char I want to rewrite this to char I want to I want to I don't want to rewrite anything else to char now it will work with char arrays as well okay but uh, what about float? I want to write out float. So pretty much change it to float. Change it to float. Change it to no float. Float. As I said, change it to float. Okay, that was it. But now a double array should be good. So make a double array. Double and then copy this double to here and here. Pretty much everything inside here is stays the same only the parameters change what a stupid thing is to always uh, I want to a new array that I have to rewrite it uh, that's uh, that's too boring don't you think yeah that's why there is a fun function array as you can see everybody inside the function body is pretty much the same okay so we could, we, what good it will be to make this a uh, standard type because it would work with any type actually. It's just uh, everything where the assignment operator is active. So yeah. Oh, actually there is a way called template. Let's make it. Uh, before the actual declaration and definition of uh, a function, you have to put the template and inside template you put class and a template parameter it will be t 
and just simple change t here and t here simple enough now the only thing we want to do is actually nothing we can run the program right now you can see we run the program with double now we can run the program with other dat data types char would be a bad idea because uh, the char zero would be a null byte character and uh, so non-printable characters would we get actually if we put 97 plus i as if you may remember from the earlier tutorial this will be casted to a char but we can do it implicitly as well so static cast and uh, uh, char and 97 plus i this will give the uh, characters all right i think we can compile the program and run it and as you can see it's write out characters simple enough all right and actually that's it you can use it for actually any data type it will copy uh, everything to the destination from the source it is work just as simple as that okay sometimes you uh, see uh, type name keyword here which is basically the same both will work even building types and classes so user defined classes okay and that is for simple mm, function template by the way it the template uh, so the template parameters will be deduced from the uh, parameters we pass here so if we pass here a char this will be a char so this two will be a char if we pre uh, pass in a double then this two will be a double if we set a float then this will this two will be a float if we set to uh, if we set a I don't know a uh, string class then this will be a string so yeah this, that's it you can use it with any type for n from now all right thank you for watching and you are through the easier part the class is a little bit more complicated but don't worry about it it's not hard just need uh, just there is some th things that 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 is different okay thank you for watching and have a great day